What is going on YouTube? This is Mighty Comics and Collectibles, and today we're gonna to be installing a light-up marquee into my punch-out machine right here. Stay tuned for the video. So I got this light-up marquee from Game Room Solutions, but if you look at the box it was shipped in, it clearly says arcademodup.com, so I'm not sure if they're just working with them or not but either way I open the box and it comes with all the equipment you need to hook it up to the arcade one-up unit I'm going to take it out here and show you guys it actually looks pretty cool I know this is a simple marquee but either way it does look very nice so let's go ahead and try to install it the first thing we need to do is take out the old marquee what we need to do is unscrew the top two screws towards the front of the screen on the arcade one-up unit then loosen both the back screws on the top back of the arcade 1UP unit. This allows us to pull out the top plate covering the arcade 1UP machine. What's left then are two screws holding the original marquee to the actual 1UP unit. We need to unscrew those and pull out the marquee. What we need to do next is pull off the small wooden piece that's attached to the original marquee. Once off, we need to use that piece and reattach to the new light-up marquee the same way using three original screws that came with the arcade one-up machine. Once done, we can go ahead and attach it. So what I did next was apply the LED lights to the top back panel of the arcade one-up unit. I started at the top of the panel, worked my way across, down, back across, down, and back across again. This was a little bit tedious as the tape on the back of the LED lights wasn't the greatest and because the power cord is a little bit heavier than the actual LED strips itself, I actually ended up using a piece of double sided tape to holding it in place. They do give you a, a curved piece of 3M tape but to be honest it really wasn't worth using. My double sided tape was better and as you can see by the video it took me a while to get it attached. After we get the LEDs installed, what we want to do next is actually install the light up marquee into the arcade one up unit. First we're going to screw in one side of the marquee to the side panel. What we want to do next is work our way towards the back and screw in both of the screws that attach the light up marquee to the actual display. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and attach the top board with the LED lights now in place to the top of the arcade one up unit. Go ahead at this point and screw in the other side of the marquee. And last but not least, we want to tighten the two back screws of the Arcade 1UP unit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the inside of my Arcade 1UP unit once everything has been installed. As you can see, my LCD board is kind of hanging there because the Y splitter that came with the actual light up marquee was a little short. You can see the LEDs that were placed on the top board look pretty good. However, you do see I am using a piece of double sided tape to actually hold the Y splitter in place. The Like I said, the 3M piece of tape that they gave me w definitely wasn't strong enough to hold this splitter up. And unfortunately it lets my LCD board dangle because it wasn't long enough to actually reach it. So either way, uh, this is what the inside looks at. Now let's look at the outside. So let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the Arcade 1UP now that we have the marquee installed. As you can see, it gives off really good light. However, we can see both screws that we used to drill in the marquee itself, which is a little annoying. I don't know if it's just because this is a white label on the actual marquee itself, or you can see that with all of them. So use your own judgment when buying. Uh, like I said, it still looks good. It's just a little annoying. Let's go ahead and shut off the light so we could see it um, in the dark. And as you can see, there is some light bleed out of the bottom of the actual marquee itself. Let's see if we can get some gameplay going on. While we're waiting for a game to load guys, one thing of note, the marquee actually doesn't power off unless you power off the entire machine. So when I say machine, I actually have to go in the back and actually flip the breaker bar switch to actually shut it off. There's no remote, there's no switch, which kind of stinks and I didn't know that ahead of time. So uh, just be aware before you buy one of these. The other thing you might notice that is that I'm running the new Smithers update to the Mr. Burns uh, re retro pie image. Uh, stay tuned to my channel for that because I will be posting a video on how to actually do that because it is definitely worth it. It looks so much better than a track mode. But either way, this is Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thank you for watching my video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will talk to you guys soon.